Hello stampers, I am Meg from Loven Stamps and I have another video tutorial to share with you. This one is a fun birthday card with the Celebrate Today stamp set from the February Stamps of the Mail Club. So there are uh, some fun different products on this card and I think you'll enjoy seeing them up close. So let's get stamping. And you'll want to grab your ribbons from the last um, the other first Stamps in the Mail Club card. And the stamp we're going to start with from the Celebrate Today Fabulous Balloon stamp set is this fun um, big balloon. Not the one that says happy on it, but the big plain one. And when you first um, open your stamps, um, when they're photopolymer, I sometimes find that it's helpful to condition them. If you have a Versamark pad, just go ahead and uh, ink it up in Versamark once first and then stamp it off or clean it someplace. Um, clean it on your stamp and scrub. It just helps to, I don't know, it just helps to condition the photopolymer material. And we're also going to need this other little bubbly thing here that has the confetti on it. I love this confetti stamp. Alright, and we'll go ahead and stick that here in another block. Alright, so from your kit here, grab the pre-die cut balloon and this is die cut for you with the balloon framelit from the imaginatively named balloon framelits dies. <laughs> and then um, we're going to stamp uh, upside down so that we get a nice image. So go ahead and ink up your stamp and then pre die cut means stamp upside down. So go ahead and stick your balloon on there. And then you can either use a clear black or because these are photopolymer, I kind of like to have the the foam layer. I just put my mat on there, my paper piercing mat, and press it down. And so when you peel it up, you get a nice balloon. Oh, you know what? And then you can flip it over because you're supposed to stamp off, and I forgot. <laughs> okay, so there was our stamping off. So we're going to stamp it on the other side now, just so we get a nice light Calypso coral image so that our confetti shows up better. Oh, look at that. How What a pretty light color. <laughs> Okay, you can skip the first step. Just do it on a piece of scratch paper. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this and uh, stamp here. Oops, almost forgot to put my mat under again. Goodness gracious. All right, so there is our confetti now that shows up very nicely on our um, balloon. So now from here, we have a pretty simple card. We're just mostly assembling. And so I'm going to start here with the... Um, balloon bash designer series paper on the lucky stars embossed background. Um, if you ordered all the supplies to make these cards exactly the way they are, it would be um, a lot of supplies. So that's one of the great things about Stamps and Mail Club. You can find out what you really love and what you want to order and add to your collection. So gold glimmer paper, definitely an ad. <laughs> I love this stuff. All right, so I'm going to take this and stick it down. The back is not self-adhesive, so don't try and peel it. Just put some adhesive on there and stick that kind of in the center. And then here's a trick if you didn't see it from my last Stamps and Mail Club video. Um, <laughs> there's the back of our balloon. Cut a piece of um, ribbon. Save this. You're going to need it for one more card. And then from your Stampin' Dimensionals, you're going to cut an edge piece about, I don't know, that long. <laughs> about an inch or so. And then set your ribbon where you want it to go. Okay, I want it to hang down the bottom of my balloon there. And then go ahead and trap the ribbon underneath there with your um, Stampin' Dimensional. I'll put another one on there. Kind of like that. See how that works? So now our string hangs nicely underneath. And I can go ahead and stick that down. Okay. And then we need a happy banner. You could use this card for any celebration. Make a great um, graduation card if you didn't have a specific graduation set. Um, you could actually add the graduation word under there. Oh, I need a block. Here we go. All right. Happy grabbing my foam mat so that I get a nice solid image. Go ahead and stamp that happy on there. Use my paper snips to cut a ribbon end and trim this down to size. There we go. All right, it's happy. 
I think you have to say it in that sing-songy voice for it to uh, be truly as happy as possible. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to mount this here, and that is perfectly cute card, but when you have your um, balloons framelits, they have this cute little banner piece, and if you have it, why wouldn't you use it? So pre-die cut in your Stamps and Mail Club is this little banner, and I'm going to use my green lid glue, aka liquid multi-purpose glue, liquid multi-purpose adhesive in the online store and I'm going to go ahead and just dab a little bit on the back and stick this here on the corner of our card and there we have a very fun um, fairly simple uh, stamps the mail club card if you want to you can also get um, don't know if you knew this you can get custom photopolymer stamps that are um, whatever you want so you can take the back of your stamp or back of your card and go ahead and pretend your hallmark and go ahead and stamp your um, hallmark on the back so there is our finished stamps the mail club card you won't be able to um, oh actually you can play around with ordering this um, through my online store you can try different texts to see how big the characters are how small they are these are a lot of fun so anyway uh, if you would like to order a stamps the mail club kit let me know and I can set you up with that you can check the details on my website and fill out the online web form and we can go from there. Thanks so much for watching.